starts pushing on my knee and I see that, I block with my, my arm underneath my knee, grab his ankle. He's wearing a gi, grab his gi, grab his ankle, whatever. Frame, okay? You need a, need a frame to keep his weight off of you. If his weight gets too far on top of you, then he's most likely going to have to pass, okay? So, this one, use your knee, keep your weight forward, forward on me, there you go. Use your knee, push, push him away, use your foot, get your foot on the inside, push him away. See, I'm keeping my grips here, his ankle and my, my uh, cross face, my frame. From here, I release my foot, use it to swing up and wrap around his, his leg, okay? There's a lot of different sweeps you can do from here. Um, you can grab his opposite sleeve, you can grab his belt, you can grab his same side sleeve, okay? We did the same side sleeve last time, so you grab the same side sleeve, you're gonna roll underneath. So your head goes underneath. So you're gonna go this way, okay? As you do that, you block the inside of his knee, shake your hips underneath. Hold this grip here with your shoulder, you push it away, come up, clear his leg with your leg, and you have your tight control, okay? So that was number one that we did last week. <clears throat> number two, same thing, he goes, but he's able to get his knee over and down. I wasn't able to get underneath my knee, so I frame, okay? Keep my frame, worry about your, your bottom arm, because if he controls your bottom arm, on my bottom arm, and pulls up, I'm on my back. That's not good. I don't want to be on my side. So, immediately, you can use your, your, your feet just a little bit to get your hips up. Hide your elbow underneath your ribs. Okay? And as he keeps trying to pass, you're just going to keep him away. Go to your knees. Elbow, and you're out to the side. Okay? Uh, be careful not to extend your arm all the way. That's an nasty arm bar. If he just rotates over. Yep. And just turns his weight. And if I may look for that, it's on right there. So, don't extend your arm all the way on that. And also, you can look at what these here. Also, use your elbow underneath his armpit here. So, once I get my arm underneath, push him away with my elbow here. And you can work on where you can go here, go to the back. Take downs. Remember most of those, most of you guys over here? This is just a recap. So we're gonna go over what we're gonna do today. Um, I'm gonna go over a side control escape first, because it, uh, for a lot of you guys that were here during my side control escape series, um, the ring bell. So, if you guys remember, you have this arm out, and uh, you've got to control your arm, and this arm's out, and so you're not in a good spot. And the side control escapes that I did that time was you need to get this arm in. So you use this, this arm, and you're bridge against his head, you pull your arm in, okay, from brace off his hips. Now once you're here, you're gonna scoot your hips out and lock your arm. So that look up, I'll go ahead and you're gonna lock your arm all the way straight. Hey, don't, don't bend your arm at all, you gotta walk it all the way straight. Because if he's pushing into you and your arm's bent, you're gonna use muscle strength and it's gonna be hard, okay? But your arm's locked, you're not gonna use any strength, okay? So once I'm here, I have my hips away, my arm's locked, I hide my head underneath, his hand grabs, here. Now my hand moves on this side of his hip, and I bring my knees. From, from south to north, I'm gonna rotate my head underneath, okay? Do you guys remember that one? That was, yeah, yeah, okay. So we're gonna do kind of the same thing, but there you are passing and then knee slice. So I'm here, and he has the underhook. And I, I realize he's got the underhook, maybe he's not passing yet, but he's got the underhook, and I don't really have a lot of options. I can't block here, you know? I can't really get my frame either. So what I'm gonna do is take my bottom arm, and I'm going to hide it next to his hip. I sit up. My arm is going right inside, right next to his hip. Can you guys see that? Okay. 
Okay? So right there. And then I'm gonna keep my head low, okay? Watch out for that cross face. If he cross faces me here, it's gonna be really hard for me to escape. Okay, so I keep my head low, like my chin tucked, so it's gonna be hard for him to cross face me. Okay? As he passes, I'm gonna kinda of wait for him to pass. This arm is just gonna kinda of keep pressure on his head. Okay? My arm is following his hip. And if he's real low like this, I can bridge up a little bit. Grab this tricep. Now my knees go from here to the other side. Notice how I straighten my arm that's on his hip. As I'm coming out, I use that to push. I'm going to grab him on his tricep. Come up to my knees. From here, so we're going to blend two techniques together. Just go from here, put your hand on his head, quarter down. Come up to your knees, stuff his head. Come around, and do side control with his, with his arm separated from his body. Okay. So here, he has the underhook. I'm way down here, I'm way here. So, put my hand on it, walk out from the cross face. Okay. He passes. I'm trying to go with it. Here. Sorry, I'm slapping. <laughs> here, grab your, uh, your quarter and also. If, you're, if your arms are long enough, just put your hand on the back of your hand on the back of his head. That's perfectly fine. If you can't reach, grab like a Kimura grip. Okay? Come to your knees. Now I like to start moving around to the opposite side and then pull the, pull the belt down. And then pull, make sure as you as they're turning to the back, pull them into you. So you have his arm nice and separate. And then you can go for a lot of solutions there. Okay, any questions on that? None? Okay. Uh, one little point. The hand, the arm that's on his head. Okay, you're not necessarily bridging, you're not forcing this right now. Because if he slips his head, you're in a lot of trouble. Okay, so your hand just is kind of here. And as he as he passes, you just kind of keep it a little bit of force there. And now if he's really low on you here, that's when you can use kind of a bridge. Here. Okay. From here, knees. Cut them off this way. Okay. Good? Okay, Okay. Right now his weight's back. I can't get my hips underneath him. So I'm gonna use my knee to bump him forward. I'm gonna bump him forward to get his weight going up to make his hips light. His weight up, his, his weight's not on his hips. Okay? So I stiff arm this, punch that out. With my top leg. Bump him up. Your hips with the knee and roll them over. Okay. Keep this grip on the far pants. It is any hand that takes hard. Okay. Clear your leg here and then come into Okay. So now you can chain those two together. Um, if you're here, he's got the underhook. I start hiding my hook. If he starts pressuring into me and starts passing, good. I come out this way. If he's not, he's hanging out there, trying to maybe get my arm or whatever, grab his belt or grab his lap. If no deep. Okay. Grab his leg. Okay. Stay his weight back, so I need it forward. Bump him up. Bump him up. No. Then scoot the hips underneath. Okay. Don't, don't try to do a sit up with this because it's going to be hard. You have to get your hips underneath. Okay. Uh, sometimes people just come here and just try to sit up. Push the other way. It's not going to work. You need to load. Boom. Load their weight onto you and you just keep walking your hips. Okay. Questions on that? No? So get their weight going forward, then get your hips underneath and walk them all the way underneath. Okay? So when it goes up, your hips come underneath. All the way underneath. Okay? 